Hello, I'm Sergeant Mercedes Fortune with the Phoenix Police Department Public Affairs Bureau. The information, audio, video, and pictures you're about to see are intended to provide details as we currently understand them of an officer-involved shooting that occurred on July 20th, 2021 at about 7.15 p.m. This video may contain strong language as well as graphic images which could be disturbing to some people. Viewer discretion is advised. Officers from the Mountain View Precinct were dispatched to a domestic violence fight call at an apartment in the area of 30th Street and Roosevelt Street. The female caller told 911 that her husband hit her and he was holding a knife. The dispatcher could hear a child crying in the background. At one point during the almost 15 minute call, the victim stopped speaking to the dispatcher, but stays on the line. Here are portions of that 911 call. Phoenix 911, where's your emergency? Hello? Hi, we need help. 802 North 30th Street. 802 North 30th, 10 o'clock. Please, please, please. What kind of help do you need? My husband is hating me and he's really drunk. And I don't want other things to happen. Um, he's acting inappropriate in front of the kids and he needs to go. What's your husband's name? Miguel Hernandez. He is drinking. Oh, okay. Are you guys married? Yes, ma'am. Stop it. You have the baby in, the, in your knife. arm. Put the knife down. What's he doing with the knife? He's trying to calm himself. Give me the baby, okay? <laughs> what happened? Oh, I'm going to bring the knife to me. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. The first two officers who received the call were told the husband had been drinking and had hit the victim. The suspect was identified by the victim as 31-year-old Miguel Hernandez. Officers arrived at the apartment complex and located the victim standing outside in the parking lot. The victim was crying and visibly upset. While one officer spoke with the victim, the second officer walked toward the apartment. Within seconds, Hernandez abruptly opened the door and advanced toward the officer armed with a knife. The officer told Hernandez to show his hands, but Hernandez did not respond to the command. Hernandez continued toward the officer with the knife, and that is when the officer fired at Hernandez. The body-worn camera of the officer who fired his weapon was not activated. However, his partner's body-worn camera captured the incident. Here is that body worn camera video. He has a knife in his hand. He has a knife in his hand right now. Okay, stay. Ooh, my kids are all in there. Oh, how many kids? Five. Five? Stay. After the shooting, the officer walked the victim back to her apartment and verified that the children were safe. Officers saw minor injuries on the victim, which according to the victim, were caused by Hernandez. Additional officers arrived, and because the suspect's hands could not be seen, the officers did not immediately approach him. Officers told the suspect to show them his hands, and after seeing that he had no other weapons, they approached him and began medical aid. Hernandez was then transported to a nearby hospital, where he was later pronounced deceased. The knife that Hernandez had armed himself with was found on the walkway where the shooting occurred. The officer involved in the shooting is assigned to the Mountain View Precinct Patrol Division and has more than three years of service. This incident is subject of both an internal and a criminal investigation, which will be reviewed by the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. Conclusions about whether the actions of the officers are consistent with department policy and the law will not be made until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. This video was intended to inform and educate the public about a critical incident in our community. You can learn about the Phoenix Police Department's transparency policy on our website.